the bad news just keeps on rolling in. It just keeps on coming. Disney has officially decided that Mulan is indefinitely being pulled. No new release date has been given. They're gonna uh, just wait, sit on it, much like WB is with Tenet. And uh, the new story is that they're gonna assess every movie that's coming out this year and early next year. And possibly delay all of those as well. So uh, the scenario you're looking at is more than likely if theaters are not finding themselves being able to open specifically in the United States uh, you're looking at the number one box office market not being able to have anybody go to theaters so what exactly happens well you don't release your movie because everything has to slowly recover so the likelihood of us seeing Black Widow for example in that November release time if uh, they're gonna follow through with this plan Probably not happening. Uh, if this continues, you're more likely looking at seeing movies like Free Guy, for example, Black Widow, Eternals, Shang-Chi, all being bumped back by six to nine months at least. Um, you know, and Mulan is obviously big. And for those of you that might not understand how big Mulan is, it's bigger than Black Widow. It had a bigger budget and it was projected to make more money. So, again, you know, um, this just sort of tells you the situation that Disney is in. And if they're pulling one of their biggest films of the year with Mulan permanently, everything else is, you know, on the table to be pulled immediately and indefinitely. Now, I already talked about how Gal Gadot for WB and Wonder Woman 1984 says they're assessing the situation every two weeks. And the possibility of an indefinite delay is also being considered there. And again, if you're pulling Tenet, if you're pulling Mulan, you're pulling your other films. The only reason you're having them in that spot is because you don't want all the bad news to hit at once. And you want to keep people in the news cycle talking about you. So again... You know, we're seeing this slowly trickle out every week a little bit more, a little bit more, a little more info. And this is just how it's going to be. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but I think the thing to look at here on the maybe positive side is the fact that if these films get held long enough, the companies are going to have to do something about it. And I would suggest you guys really listen to this week's upcoming podcast. We recorded today. It will be out Saturday. We go in depth on what these studios are going to have to do. If these films get delayed out of this year, it's a good conversation we have. We're really trying to break it down. Um, hopefully you guys listen to it there because there's a lot that we say. But the point of it is, if you're burning money, you have to put out something to make money. And what do you have that you keep pulling? Think about it.